Hello, good afternoon, good morning, good evening, my fellow creative designers and content creators. Welcome once again to another exciting episode on my channel. And guys, this is Aki Graphics, and what you do here is graphic design tutorials, step by step approach, graphic design, quick tips and tricks, logo design, flyers, banners, and name them um, invitation flyers everything graphic design we do it here and then we have a step-by-step -step tutorials as you are saying and then you can just go through our subscribers our current subscribers are what is 1.33k subscribers now and we have a videos of 308 videos at the moment and guys you can check it out and in today's episode we are going to check this out a dual or double light effect in photoshop yes so if this seems to be interesting to you kindly stick around subscribe like share comment and let me walk you through the tutorials step by step if you are a beginner this tutorial is for you and then even if you are pro this i recommend this tutorial for you and this is a style or a new way of doing the dual light effect in photoshop as you know a lot of people have been doing it in a different way, in a different way, in a different way. But I'm also coming up with a new way of doing this dual light effect. So without wasting much time, control N to open a new document. All right, so the interface is set nicely like this. And then if you want to use the same interface with me, you just go to films and videos. Yes, you just go to films and videos. And then you choose the second one, which is HDV HDTV and then 720 pixels yes and then the size these are the size the width is 1280 the height is 720 resolution is 72 and then you just give it a title so dual light effects dual light effects tutorials all right so everything is okay i'll click on enter and then i have this nicely so control z to zoom it a bit and then let me go and import the background okay so i'll just go to my resources file and then just drag this background i'm just adding a background just to make it look nice yes to just make it look nice i'll stretch it to cover the entire screen press enter okay so you it has enter and then um, let me just put this in a group and then call it bg yeah so bg is set nicely then i will just go and drag my image add the image from pinterest.com and guys you can check it out i just drag it and release it in photoshop and then wait for it to load all right so the image has been imported successfully and it's very very small so i'll just hold alt and then hold the edge here and then scale it up nicely like this and then let me just and you realize that the image contains a background therefore we need to remove the background right right, right click in the rasterize type and go to this magic one too and select subject so photoshop will select the subject only the subject and then get rid of the background okay so only the subject has been selected which is the image has been selected then press ctrl c to copy ctrl v to paste it and then you delete the one below yes delete the one below so let's delete it and then we have this nicely yeah we have this nicely and let's uh go to this side and then go and add levels yeah let's add levels to it and then let's push this side to something like 20 no i'm sure we are supposed to convert this to smart object awesome 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 and then this yes let's delete it first okay so we just go to um, adjustment and then go to levels and let's push this side to something like this so 50 is okay then enter s yes. then go there again and go and pick black and white yes black and white let's push here to minus 12 let's push here to 13 let's push here to something like uh, um 
So okay, these are my settings. I push here to minus 12, here to 13, here to 27, and here 60, here 20, and here 80. Just leave it that way and then close the group. Now let's pick all this array and then right click and then merge layers. Yes, we merge layers nicely like this. Now it has become one layer. It has all has been merged to one layer. Now let's go to this adjustment. Go and pick a solid color. And then we pick this hex code 0054FF. Awesome. And then go to the blending option and set it to color. Perfectly, perfectly, perfect, perfect. Control J to duplicate it again. Then double click this side and change it to color red. Awesome. Enter it this way. And within the thumbnail, go to this side, sorry. Go to this side. All right, so you click inside the thumbnail that is in the, inside the white area. And then pick your B on a keyboard to activate the brush tool. If your caps lock is on, make sure your caps lock is off. And then you come and select a foreground color, change it to color black. We are using a soft round brush. If yours is not there, go to general and then soft round brush. And then set brush high brush size to something like 175. And that is okay. Opacity 100, blue 100. Increase the brush size a bit and clear the side. Okay, and then you brush the side a bit. And guys, ha ha ha, you see. The magic has been done. The magic has been done. Awesome, 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 awesome. Once they are done, you can put them in a group, control G, and then just name it dual light. Light effect. Awesome, awesome, awesome. And guys, this is typically how to do a dual light effect in Photoshop. And if this seems to be interesting to you, please thumbs up, subscribe to this channel, like, share, comment, and let me know how this tutorial is helping you in any other way. Other way. Until then, I love you. I will see you in the next tutorials. Bye for now.